so we have made it to Park City. So I'm just going to show you guys around real quick. So this is one of the bathrooms. Okay. And it does come with a walk-in shower. And then I'm going to show you guys the bedroom. This little half kitchen, I guess, whatever you want to call it, is in the bedroom. It's pretty dark outside, so you guys are not going to be able to see the view. But the, um, the bedroom does have a balcony. The view is actually really, really nice. At first, I was kind of like, eh, I don't really like that. But now I do. Okay, and this is the other bathroom. Only difference is it doesn't come with the jet tub. So, and I do, I am bundled up. I have on like this running coat from Nike and I have on this North Face jacket and then I have on the, um, the army coat. So, tomorrow I'll have on different stuff for skiing, of course. Then this is the living room does come with the full kitchen which is a plus we're actually about to get ready to take the shuttle to go to Walmart and get some food so that we can cook tonight and then this is just the living room view like I said it's pretty dark so you can't see right now but of course I'll be filming more so you guys will see more of this whole area Hey guys, so now we're getting ready to go snowmobiling. It's going to be really fun. Uh, we did go ahead and sign up for skiing for a beginner. So we actually will start that tomorrow because it is more so like an all day thing. And you have to meet with the instructor like super early in the morning. Um, and I don't feel like holding this. So... Like what was running through your head? But I just kept thinking like, I was, I thought that too, I was like, fuck, if we get stuck out here or we get lost, it's my fault for choosing something like this. But I really didn't think we was gonna be like on an actual mountain. Like that never crossed my mind. Really, when we first started, that's why I thought we was gonna stay the entire time. See, but I, I was thinking like, in that situation, you know me, I feel I'm a survivor. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking if we do get stuck in here, this is the way I'm gonna go. This is what I'm gonna do. Hopefully Shay can just come and I'm gonna have to drag Shay ass along. So, <laughs> so if we die for him, we're gonna die because I got I got a handicap with me basically. Good morning guys. We're getting ready to go to the skiing school. Um, we have to be there at 9.30, but we were 
doing snowmobiling yesterday and forgot to go get sized for um, our ski equipment. So we got to leave a little early um, this morning. So we'll probably leave the hotel around 8.30. It'll take us about three to four minutes to get to um, the ski school and the slopes and things like that. So hopefully we have fun. We paid, I think it was like, 289 per person um, and it comes with like your your ski boots your skis um, of course the lesson the pole and that's pretty much it <laughs> so everything else we have to either rent or buy such as like the ski gear um, the goggles the helmet the gloves which half of that we already have except for the helmet so yeah we're gonna get ready to do that it's really it looks really windy outside today I have not been outside um, this morning but it looks really really windy um, yesterday I was pretty warm especially with the snow pan so we got an uber last night right first time ever riding an uber so my thing is I was like <laughs> I don't know I just think of like these horror stories I think about horror stories all the time wherever I am like when we were snowmobiling I it was like 20 different terrible scenarios that went through my head instead of enjoying it and um, taking in the scenery and I believe that that was primarily because it was just me and my husband and it was this other guy that we didn't know he came by himself in the instructor so it just felt I don't know at some points it felt very uncomfortable um, because at one point our vision got really bad because we got higher up in the mountains and the snow started really really coming down we couldn't see the instructor we couldn't see that guy that was in front of us so we start panicking thinking we got lost um, but we just kept following the trails um, Travis was driving so he got us there safely um, I, it was just all type of scenarios going through my head. Everything that you're thinking right now, I thought it. Um, we had just watched the movie, The Mountain in Between Us or something like that. That was going through my head. Survival tactics was going through my head. Everything, if we was to roll off the cliff of the mountain, everything was going through my head. So um, Travis liked it. I don't really know if I liked it. Um, and it, it was primarily just because I've never been on a mountain before. Like, never. I'm from Georgia. Um, we do have mountains up north, but I don't go up there, you know. So, um, I think once I get used to that, maybe things will be a little better. <laughs> so how long have you been doing this, Mr. Rod? What's your name? I'm sorry. <laughs> Rod. Rod, yeah. Okay. How long have you been doing this? Uh, this is my 21st. Oh, wow. So. Yeah, I was weird. I was like, I was like, is this what's going on? I know. You know, I always wonder I totally want to get one how many pictures I am in from oh, photo bombing. Probably a lot. <laughs> no, I think so. Shay got me up the ski.
Yeah, you can look. You can look. Look at it and tell. We're on Main Street, where everything is supposed to be popping. Um, supposed to have a lot of good restaurants and things like that. So I'm gonna let you guys see the scenery. 